International trade is an important aspect of the global economy. In the U.S., imports of goods average around 15% of GDP in a typical year. A widely held view among academic economists is that trade is a good thing. Yet, uh, recently we see this backlash against international trade. Here I show you some photos of protests, and also I'm sure you still remember in past presidential elections, trade was in such a central place in the public debate. What's more, it's not just in the U.S., it's in other parts of the world as well. So why is there such a big difference between the academic point of view and the public opinion? Let's imagine I'm a worker, and how would trade affect me? Trade will affect me in two different ways, through my consumption and through my jobs. In terms of consumption, trade is good because I can buy cheaper goods. But in terms of a job, it's mixed. Some in, in trade and in this competition, some may win, some may lose. If I actually work for one of those losing firms, my wage might decrease and I might even lose my job. But fortunately, there are some winning firms looking to expand their production, and in the long run, I might be able to find a job there. Existing standard trade theory normally focuses in the long run, and less on these transitions. This is a fine uh, approximation if this adjustment is relatively fast. However, if we live in a world where this adjustment takes a long, play, takes a long time, then we really need to better understand this adjustment as well. And indeed, recent research using data show that that's a world we live in. In some places, it may take as long as 15 years for this adjustment. And no wonder we see this backlash against trade. Um, well, this is where our, our paper comes in. We take a first step trying to understand why does it take so long. In particular, we incorporate firm accident decisions into the model. We show that, on top of uh, worker decisions, it is a slow exiting of those losing firms that explain this uh, slow process of adjustment. To test the theory, we took into the data and found that our model can match the dynamic pattern of the data relatively well. So, using research like this, we can help public policy makers who are trying to design policies to help workers in the global trade era. Trade is still a beneficial thing globally. We don't need to fight against it. We just need to find a way for local people to get a fair share of it.